Hello again, it's Helen Howe from Helen Howe Designs that crafts you print. And today I'm going to show you how to put together my um, new 3D tent card design. Now before I start, let's do the credits for the graphics. Now the graphics for this design come from Zaza Scrap and Tube Store under license. Um, now, and the card template is um, put together by me. Now in this kit you will get a card base or card, I call it a card base but it's actually your card front and your card back. You will also get an insert of which I've already stuck onto my card. Just make sure when you're putting your insert on that the circle you're going to write on is against the plain back because when, once you fold it over it'll be the right way. You also will get two ovals. Now you have to um, cut these ovals out. You've got the top oval and the one that goes against the card base. Now with the top oval, it is a bit tricky cutting all these um, snowflakes out, but if you just take your time, it's worth it. Now the other thing I have done that you can probably see, I might put a light on and you might see a bit better. I don't think so. I think we'll take that light off again. <laughs> Is that I've already decorated these. Now, you don't have to decorate them. I happen to like sparkles. So I've put a little bit of glitter onto the trees and I've put a little bit of glitter around the oval for the snowflakes and gems for their circles. Also in the kit, you will get an envelope and I've already put my envelope together because I think everybody knows now how to make envelopes. So that's all ready to go. So let's get on with it. So I'll just remove these out of the way. So the first thing we're going to do is once we put our backing on is we're going to score this line and then we'll do a mountain fold. So let's see if we can get this lined up. Yeah, all right. Now it'll probably take a bit of pressure because I'm going through two layers. The other thing I have to be careful of, of course, as I've said many times, this is gloss paper I'm using. It's 200 GSM photo paper. And I think that might be enough to go through. You have to be careful that you're not going to crack it. Now, I find the easiest way with gloss is to, to pinch it like that. Once you've scored it, just pinch it. Can you see what I'm doing? Once you've pinched it, you can then use your bone knife to give yourself that nice sharp edge. Now as I said before I do like to make cards that are easy. Um, the hardest part about making this card is probably cutting out the oval with the snowflakes. The rest is very very simple. So there is your card base done. There's your insert. You can write your message there and your back is all nicely done. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to glue down this oval to the back like this. Now I'm going to actually use glue tape. You can use glue tape or glue, whichever you prefer. So I'm just going to move the scoring board out the way because we've now finished with that. Crash! And I'll bring in my other board. So make sure that you do this on the back. I'm just going to add tape round the back. Try 
trying to stay on the line. And then if you go over like I have, I'm just going to fold that extra tape back because that will be hidden by the top layer. Okay. Oops. Round we go. Make sure I'm on. I'm not on enough. There we go. I need to go round again a little bit more. That's it. Round a bit more. If you find glue easier to use, then do use glue. So that's all I'm doing is turning the edges in that have gone over the edge. My head's not getting in the way too much. And the last bit, and we're done. So I'll just put those edges in. But remember, you're not going to see this, this edge because you're going to put another oval over the top. So we now need to make sure, I might do it this way, it might be happier, that we line this up correctly with our oval on the bottom. Because once we put this down, that will be it. And we're there. And then just press that in. And that's your first layer on. Now the second layer we're going to put on with foam squares. So we'll move this out the way and we'll add some foam squares. If you really want to make it extra 3D, you could put that first oval on with foam squares too. It's entirely up to you. Um, but don't forget you've got to get this into the envelope as well. So. That's worth considering when you when you put these on. Does that fit without going over the edges? I don't want them to be seen. That's that is. We'll take that one up. I think what we'll do now is I'll just cut these down a little bit so that they don't show because that's we don't want them to show so I'm going to halve that you still get the same lift it's just that you'll find that doesn't show so easily is that you can see what I'm doing I don't think cards need to be complicated to put together. I think you need to enjoy the process. But at the same time, it's really nice to find that when you've put the whole thing together, you've got this lovely effect. And um, I saw similar cards like this. You where people have used dies and I thought how can I do this and make a template for everybody so that they can do it by just cutting out by hand and if they don't have a cutting machine or or whatever and I don't actually have a cutting machine either so um, I think that that's um, that's what inspired me to, to try and do this. Because I think um, people that have uh, dies and cutting machines do have um, the opportunity to do more of these special 3D effects there. That will be fine. The others don't show. So now we've got to take all of these off. 
these little squares and I said it was a very easy card to make. Dear, I need longer nails, don't I? Goodness me, come off. <laughs> so, <coughs> the effort in making this card is really cutting out the ovals. They take a little bit of patience, um, but they're well worth the effort, I think, to be able to do something like this if you don't have a cutting machine and you don't have any dies. And I hope to be doing some variations on this style of card. You can um, find all my kits in my shop at www.craftshoeprint.com slash Helen dash Howell slash. All my designs are exclusive to Craftshoe Print. You won't find them anywhere else. There we go, all off. So now we've got to put this on top of this. And again, we have to line everything up and it's tricky when you get stuck to it and the card wants to jump up. But I think that's about right. And we pop it down. And there we go. And we have our 3D effect. Well, I told you it was simple. But it's also um, a very pretty little card. If I put the light on, it sparkles more. There you go, you can see that. And you've got a nice envelope to go with it. So if you um, make this kit, I hope you enjoy the result. And I'll catch you again next time. Happy crafting.